Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Sorry that it's been such a long time since I have filmed. You know, life just kind of happens and you know how that goes. But I am back with another video today and I'm going to be showing you my natural hair journey and how I got to this point of the journey, I guess you could say. So I've definitely been wanting to film this for a very long time and I just haven't had the time. But you know what? Right now is the time to do it and I'm super, super excited. I just want to do a disclaimer. I am going to have photos in it. Um, a lot of photos, a lot of, I guess, not personal photos, but like stuff I don't want people to see, meaning like my eyebrows, how I used to do them back whenever they first became like popular to draw them in. Um, yeah, so let's make this a judgment-free zone. Let's just say that and get that out, clear the air. I like literally some of these pictures, I'm just like, what the heck was I thinking? And you know, I guess that was part of my journey. This natural hair journey doesn't just mean my, my head full of hair. It could also mean my eyebrow hair. Who knows? I am super excited to share this with you guys. I hope that this is inspiring to someone um, who's just starting their natural hair journey or, you know, who needs some tips or just curious to see because I love watching other people's natural hair journeys. But yeah, uh, with that being said, let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so I, I kind of shifted the camera a little bit this way so I can have room to display my pictures. And yes, I'm aware that the mirror is showing in the background. Hey guys. Okay, so in the beginning, a young, beautiful little girl was born with a head full of hair. So fast forward three years, I get my first perm and this is what <laughs> my first perm looks like that moment. Um, it's actually really cool how I have a picture of this. Um, but yeah, I don't remember it honestly because I was, I think I was three and um, you know, if you want more details on that story as to why my mom gave me a perm, you feel free to ask her. Uh, I'm not sure why, but I don't think I really cared either. But yeah, my first perm was at the age of three. Um, so going through elementary and stuff, uh, kept getting perms, um, kept straining it. I had some wigs. I had, not wigs, like the hair pieces, I guess you could say. Had a lot of those. I'll show you guys some pictures right here. Um, yeah. They were actually, they were pretty cool. Like, I like them a lot. You know, I did a few protective styles, but that was mainly my protective style, I guess you could say. And always had my hair straightened. I would say I had long-ish hair. Like, I felt like I had a good length of hair um, in elementary. So this picture was actually taken in the sixth grade, I believe. Something like that. This was my very first selfie. Like, I specifically remember this picture. This is my first selfie I've ever taken, and I'm not gonna lie, that was a pretty good selfie. But anyways, as you can see, my hair is very like flat and very shiny, and it just looks really good, and I loved it. Like I just, I just love this picture so much. That was my probably the best selfie I would ever take. And then moving to middle school, um, FYI, I'm looking at my phone. I have pictures on here of um, the pictures I'm gonna put up here. Moving to middle school. This picture is embarrassing. I realized that I kind of like like straightening my hair a little too much, like a little more than I should have, and um, it didn't look bad. But so moving on into high school, my freshman year, um, I think me and my mom just made the decision like we're done with the creamy crack, like we are about to move forward in this natural hair and see what happens. Because honestly. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know what to expect from my natural hair. Like, I'd never seen it. I had never seen my hair like this. I had no idea how to take care of it. Like, natural hair wasn't that popular as it is now, I guess you would say. So, going into my freshman year, that's when I decided to have a clean start and I stopped getting the creamy crack. Did not do the big chop because I was not having that. I decided to just trim it every four weeks, um, have it trimmed a few inches every four weeks, and it worked like that. So yeah, um, in this picture I had like this really cool, I guess protective style um, when I went to cheer camp. If you've ever been to cheer camp, you know that it's usually three or four days and um, you really don't have much time or energy to do your hair. So I liked having these kind of protective, protective styles. Um, <laughs> here we are again with the braids. Um, yeah, please ignore my face. Oh, this picture, these eyebrows, can't. Jesus, some of these photos are just a hot, hot mess. Like, some of my, sometimes my hair looks really good, 
um, when it was straightened, but then like when it's transitioning, it's just like, what are you doing? Like it was like that stiff, stiff state, which I cannot stand. Um, so like, yeah, at the cheerleading games, like, you know, it's hot outside and it's usually like summer, I mean not summer, it's usually fall and it's still hot outside. And so my hair was like, my hair was freaking out pretty much and I looked a hot mess after I came home from each game. Uh, this was homecoming. You see like the stiffness that I'm talking about? And then I got into the world of crimping my hair which that honestly, I think that fad or that phase of everyone crimping their hair definitely passed. Like it was long gone but I did it because it gave like some really cool waves. It didn't look like it was crimped. So I did that a lot. Fun fact, my hair was burnt off from a crimper the front part and so I had to grow that out and so I got bangs actually this front piece I guess you could say like this front piece it was like this short like underneath my finger it was this short and I had to grow it out and then I eventually like used them as used that as bangs you know I use my hair to its advantage no matter what state it's in I just realized that okay so I decided that it would be cute to take pictures while I was transitioning um, thinking that it was cute to look like that like I would go out in public like this with all this volume I don't know why but I used to be obsessed with like having a whole bunch of volume and like having my hair like a certain way I don't know it just it was weird and I uh, I'm sorry for those of you who saw me like that so the reason why it was so easy to get it that voluminous is because I it was transitioning so like it was the I guess new growth and I didn't even have to like tease it or anything like it was just like that and it felt like that naturally and for whatever reason I thought it was cute so that explains that picture so I kept going about it uh, this picture I just had it straightened I think I was still going through the process this was definitely high school yeah I was still going through the process um, and it just kind of like I, I don't know how I did it but I got it to look like a little wavy but that doesn't look that wavy in that picture. So moving into sophomore year of high school, um, I noticed this year, this is whenever I, my hair started to kind of break off and get a little shorter. Mind you, I was I was kind of going along with it. Like I knew it was getting shorter, couldn't figure out why, which I'll get to in a second. But I kind of like wanted to go for a bob. Um, this isn't the bob, but I think this was after I got it cut. I just wanted layers, and so I couldn't grow it past shoulder length, or it just kept getting shorter, and I was just like, well, you know what? I'm going to rock this. I'm going to make this into, like, some kind of bob or whatever. This is not a bob at all. I understand that. Um, but in my mind, that's what I was thinking. And so I did like this, this length on me, and I still do. I just don't think I would cut my hair again. Oh, by the way, so the reason why my hair was getting so brittle and breaking off was not only because of the perm and straightening it like every single day like I would straighten it every morning <laughs> before I went to school just to make sure that it looked flat and it looked right and all the kind of stuff I was putting way too much heat on it um, so this is kind of like a personal thing but um, I actually was diagnosed with thyroid disease and I don't know what year it was but it was my sophomore year of high school and um, I'm not going to go into details about what exactly it is if you want to know about it you can look it up on Google but um, basically it makes your hair skin and nails like very brittle and I didn't realize it at the time so when I was diagnosed with it I was like this makes a little more sense as to why my hair was kind of falling out it wasn't like drastic to where I was just like oh my gosh like my entire sink is clogged I think it was just shedding like shedding more than it normally did and plus I was getting the trims as well and so I feel like I was trimming off maybe too much so yeah that's what happened um, but then going into my junior year um, this is whenever I learned about the world of weave and <laughs> um, as you can see it did not look great I'll kind of zoom in on it it didn't look that great because I for one this is like when I was first introduced to it and my hair was still natural, but I was still straightening. I was straightening the leave out that I would have. So I'd leave out like the crown of my head so that I can do ponytails and stuff like that for cheerleading. But um, it's still like reverted no matter how much I straightened it. And it was really annoying actually because it just I just looked a hot mess. But I still went with it because you know, high school Victoria obviously didn't have a sense of direction as to how she should look. I'm sorry y'all, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop with that. Yeah, in this picture it looks better. Um, 
it was freshly done but it still it would still revert like super easily and I could not stand it at all this was after I had the weave taken out and I could put it into like my bun like the little donut bun without using the donut and I was like this is so cool did that um, kept wearing weave all throughout high school because you know that's a great protective style um, not for me it wasn't great because I kept straightening it every single day just to keep the hair straight and of course I had hair damage which I still believe I might have from it because my hair in the front is looser then again I don't know but definitely got hair damage from that but it was still reverting and I could not figure out how to keep it straight and so I then learned about the world of braids, which I had had braids before in the past, but like for natural transitioning hair or just, I think by this point I was fully natural. I just didn't know how to take care of it. So I got braids and this was my senior year and these braids, my hair grew so much after I took these braids out. Like I am telling you and thank God I had someone who is a natural hair guru already and she was able to like assist me and guide me throughout the entire process of like taking care of my natural hair. Shout out to you, you know who you are. My hair grew a few inches after that. Um, and then after taking them out, like I knew I was natural before I had like put the braids in, but then after taking them out, I was like, whoa, like I'm actually like fully natural. Like there's no more, like there's no more permed ends or anything like that, which I actually wish I remembered the moment when I didn't have permed ends. So yeah, we've, braids and then I get to college okay so actually what happened is at the end of my senior year I had my very first twist out like ever I don't think I have a photo of it I would, wouldn't say it looks similar to this the twists were a little smaller but I had it done by the friend who helped me and I never seen my hair curly I've never seen it look like this in a state and I was like whoa like I'm a different person like my head is so round and it was shorter it was much shorter than it is now um, but it was weird it was a definitely like a turning point for me like well this is like this is what natural hair is this is what natural hair looks like throughout the summer I started doing my own hair doing my own twist outs and braid outs and I was like wow this is really cool and I actually remembered my very first twist out was Halloween night freshman year of college and um, I did the twist right I just didn't like separate them the way that I do now but I was just like I actually did this like on my own and I had all the products and stuff and everything I needed to get set up and my hair just kept growing and growing and growing I don't know I guess I kept watching more and more videos I can't think of who exactly I like clung on to um, who I really like looked up to as far as like natural hair gurus on YouTube and stuff I think I just kind of like watch random videos and just pick and chose what I really liked. I just noticed my hair just kept growing and growing and growing and people were asking me like how do you grow your hair and I'm just like I really don't know like it might have been the products it may have been me just like leaving it alone because honestly all throughout college I wear my hair in buns and I still do that now except for today but I always have my hair in a bun um, not one that's too tight to where it's like pulling on my edges because I have experienced that before but um, my hair was just like flourishing it was just I don't know I don't know what happened I really don't know and I wish I did so that I can give you guys the advice but it just grew with the twist outs and the braid outs and I even did a lot of blowouts because my hair works a lot better whenever it's blown out however I know that's extra heat so I don't do that that often and I finally straightened it for the first time in like a couple years and this was my junior year of college it was it came out really good like my hair I, I was really like happy with how my hair looked and how um, I don't know it just looks very soft and flowy and stuff like that but I knew that wasn't the straightest that I could have gotten it this picture is actually the semester before that last picture so this one long story short I had like a very serious um, river incident river incident um, and I had my hair in a twist out for the pictures for the professional pictures we were gonna take and then um, I got my hair wet in the river and I had to do like a last minute wash and go. I'm not a big fan of like my shrinkage. I really not. That's why I do twist out so much and I've done much better wash and goes. This was like my very first one and that's when I was kind of just learning how to do it. Plus I was on a time crunch and I was frustrated with life in general. So yeah. 
And then whenever I blow dried it, I would always get it braided or I would braid it myself so it had texture. So in this picture, you can't really tell. I'm kind of jumping in the air. But in this next picture, you can see the, like, the waves. And so I do like blowing it out because when I blow it out, that's when I trim it and when I can see the ends. It's hard for me to trim my hair whenever it's, um, it's curly, so I try not to. I believe this was a twist out, South by Southwest. Yeah, this was a twist out. Um, it was really cute. It was like a pineapple or something. Why is my mouth open in all these pictures? So here's actually my infamous bun that I was talking about. I think this is whenever it was blowed out, blown out, and I always had my hair up in a bun because one is hot, two, ain't nobody got time to be doing natural hair, especially when you're an RA and you're in like 5,000 organizations. Like I, I was not about to do that. So I always do it up in a bun and it looked cute and it was simple. This is probably one of my favorite pictures, not just because of the Sonic, but because of the twist out. The curls were, curls were popping. However, my twist outs have gotten better than that. Long story short, I do a lot of twist outs. That's literally all I do because one, it's easy and it lasts me a long time rather than wash and goes. My hair kind of gets like stuck together rather than where twist outs, like your curls are like really individual. I don't think that made any sense and I'm sorry. This picture was kind of a length chat. This was like after my hair had been straightened for at least a month and I just kind of like braided it and added some texture to it. Eventually over time it just kind of like my hair kind of fell like and that's the thing about natural hair is that your hair usually like expands which mine does don't get me wrong but like my hair over time I feel like my texture kind of changed and it kind of like my hair kind of set into place if that makes sense like instead of growing out more so like outwards which it still is it's growing more so down which I love and I love this length because I've always wanted to have a twist out to where it's like to my shoulder and then I straightened my hair I think almost a year and a half ago um, and I got it bone straight because of what this technique that I learned which you can see in my how I straighten my natural hair video and then I recently straightened it this past December, I believe, and this is what it looks like. I did like a length check, I guess you could say, and I'm just really happy with like how this journey has turned out. Like I said, like I really don't know what exactly I did to do it. Like I don't have like a natural hair like regimen or anything like that where I don't like grease my scalp every day or I don't like massage my scalp every day. Like that's just not something I do because I'm so lazy when it comes to my natural hair. I think it's because I leave it alone, like I don't manipulate my hair all the time. Like like I said, if I have a style, if I have a twist out, I try to make it last for at least a week or two weeks. Um, if I have a blowout, try to make it last for two weeks, try to leave it alone after that, put it up in a bun, put it in a protective style, something like that. And that's literally how I kind of got through my natural hair process. It's just trial and error honestly and I know this video might not be as helpful for some of you guys you don't have to follow all of these natural hair gurus like all of their routines you don't have to have all of these products you don't have to do all of these hairstyles and use all of these tools because it's not meant for everybody to use and I learned that the hard way after my first year first two years or so about learning about my natural hair and how to take care of it by myself I was like, why can't my hair look like this? Why can't my curls pop like hers? Like, why can't I do this or that? And I was just comparing myself so much to where I finally got to the point where I was just like, you know what? My hair is just going to do what it wants to. And it honestly does. My hair is going to do what it wants to. I'm just going to roll with it. And I'm going to do what's best for me, what's best for my schedule, what's best for my budget. Like, I'm going to do with whatever is best for me. And so I think that's what makes it a little different, like coming up with the I guess the natural hair movement I don't like using that term because natural hair has been around for much longer than recently but you know what I'm saying I had to learn like my hair is my hair it's not your hair it's not his hair it's not her hair it is mine I just wanted to use that as an encouragement for those of you who are kind of frustrated that you're not getting the results that you necessarily want to but I want you guys to think about like what, what are you trying to get to? You're trying to get to this person's results or are you trying to get to your own personal goals and stuff like that? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. This video was kind of like unplanned and like not organized that well. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to record that and give you guys some encouragement and share my story with you guys. I'm still learning, honestly. Like I don't know everything. I don't know anything about porosity. I don't know anything about 
you know, like checking for humidity outside, which I have tried to do, but like my mind literally cannot grasp any of that information. I'm still on my journey and I'm hoping one day to get to, um, I don't know. I don't know what my goal is for my hair, honestly. I just want healthy hair and, you know, of course I do want it longer, but I really just want it healthy. Definitely still on my journey and I would be more than glad to take you guys on that journey with me throughout this channel. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I am so glad that I was able to share this experience with you guys as well as my embarrassing photos and my embarrassing eyebrows. Again, please make this a judgment-free zone. So with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.